From the heart of El Monte City Hall West, it's El Monte Tonight with your host, Arturo Esparza. Tonight's special guest, Tommy Lee Atta. From Celestial Soul Wellness, Miss Serena Neredia. As well as Horacio Ruiz. And Gilbert Santa Cruz and Jessica Flores. And our sax for all occasions, Robert Colvin. And I'm yours truly. Miss Jamie Neri. Robert, go on. Take us away. Robert Colvin, let me tell you, man, the man with the sound, the man with the plan, and we're so happy to have him back. Thanks a lot, Robert, for coming on in and helping us. Yes, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the little TV talk show around the corner and up the block from where you live, Arturo Sparsa and El Monte tonight. We've been gone for a couple of weeks. We did our anniversary show, but we had so many technical difficulties because we lost. Diego wasn't here, but he's back. Can I have a round of applause for Diego being in the out of control room, please? And boy, did we miss him, man. Oh, you're getting a little rowdy back there. That's why we call it the out-of-control room. Anyway, I have a couple of announcements, and we'll get on with the show. We have a real slam-bang, big, punchy show today with some real, many uh, talented individuals. I mean, we're just bursting at the seams. And we also have a couple of important announcements for people on a more serious note. So we're going to be right at you in just a bit. Uh, we're going to start real quick with uh, announcements for... Uh, city of Almani, because that's how we pay our bills around here. Okay, this is Almani Valley Mall Father's Day Sidewalk Sale, and that is June 15th to 16th, sponsored by the Downtown Almani Business Association. They want you to shop the Valley Mall. If you live here in Almani, you know exactly where that's at. So support your local business. Go down there, take your pops, buy them some, get a pair of shoes or something, you know. 
Buy them a few albums. Any, you know, a, a new cell phone. A new cell phone. Crack down. Okay? But go down there. Support our local businesses. They're good people, and you'll do right by them. And if you help our business community, you're helping yourself and the city. Beautiful city of Elani, which we refer to as the Bel Air of Beverly. I mean, Bel Air of San Gabriel Valley. What's going on Be- Be- Beverly Hills here? Okay. Real quickly. Elmani Summer Beach Bus travels to Huntington Beach. They have uh, pickup da- uh, dates. Pick up at 11 a.m. Take them at 6 p.m. The next one coming up will be the 22nd, 29th. You got July 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th, and August 3rd, 10th, and 17th. It's uh, $6 round trip, and the tickets must be purchased in advance. In advance, <clears throat> over at the Almani Trolley Station, 3650 Center Avenue, Almani, California. So you want to go down there. The trolley station is loca- located one block west of Tyler Avenue on the corner of Valley Boulevard and Center Avenue. And their office hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. So you want to touch base right there. Get out of town. Go have a good time. Hit the beach, man. It's going to be a hot summer, so you want to know there. If you uh, have any information, um, needing answers to any information there, 626-580-2242. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, it always happens right before show time. I get, get this frog in my throat. Okay, the summer splash bus. Now we have a splash bus. July 8th through August 16th, 2013. And it's going to be free rides to the Almani Aquatic Center right here at 1100-001 Mildred Street. Okay. They have the pickup location, so you want to write this down, Cran School, they'll pick you up at 1145, Mountain View Park pickup will be at 12 o'clock, uh, on Tuesdays there'll be Baldwin Mini Park, and that pickup will be 1145, Scherpster School will be at 12 o'clock, Wednesday Zamora Park, and Thursdays Cherry Lee Schools pickup at school in the corner of Cherry Lee Drive and Buffington Road at 1145, and Lambert Park at 12 o'clock, Cogswell School will be 11.45 on Friday, and Fletcher Park at 12 o'clock. For more information, call 626-580-2217, 626-580-2213. Either number will get you your information. So we have a lot of things going on. Santa Fe Dam, July 13, 2013, 10.30 a.m., departure from the Almonte Trolley Station. That's a busy place. 4 p.m., return shuttle from Santa Fe Dam, $5 per person. You want to contact them, please call them at 626-580-2217. And remind you once again, in this hard economic times, you know a lot of you are still looking for jobs. We will be having a job fair. And you've probably seen it. We had our good buddy, Jay Gomez, city councilman, Alcart Deluxe, was announcing it. It will be this month, the 21st. You want to go down there early in the morning. I'd say get there as early as you can. Try to make it at least by 8. It's going to be right there at 3130 uh, Tyler Avenue at the Community Center. And they're going to have businesses, employers that have real jobs. Let me repeat that. Real jobs. Okay? They're not going to come in there. There's not going to be trade schools. There's not going to be, uh, you know, um, insurance companies. It's going to be real jobs. So if you want to get a job, if you're serious about it or you want to upgrade the job you already have, Please go there. That is the Community Center, 3130 Tyler Avenue, on the 21st of this month. So you want to make it on down there, okay? Okay, we're going to do, we're going to have these uh, talented people c- uh, come up right at you in just a couple of uh, clicks. But we're going to turn it back over to Robert Colvin so we can get set up here because they have a lot of information and a very talented book that you might be interested in here on El Monte Tonight. Take it away, Robert. Oh, 
proud once again pleased as punch to have Robert Colvin and his beautiful music to delight and thrill everybody out here on beautiful Time Warner Channel 3 okay now let's bring us on to the lighter side of our show and we have this nice can we get a shot of this book okay that's a flower I won't describe what it's sitting in I'll leave it to your imagination okay we want you people to know okay and then it is called Tommy Lee Athos Forever Swap. Is Tommy it? Lee Athos. Swap. I knew I'd get it wrong no matter how you tried it. How are you doing, Tommy? Hey, I'm fine. It's good to have you here on the show. Let's have a round of applause. Don't be shy. This man wrote. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Um, and then I want to introduce Adam Waitman here. He is uh, my publicist. He's the editor in chief of Forever Forever. Uh, Editor in chief of uh, Funny Bone Publishing, which is uh, publishing Forever Four Hours. Well, that sounds so. Let's give him a round of applause, too. Everybody deserves applause around here. Yeah. Everybody. Right, Got too much talent. Very twisted young man, but that's yeah. good. Well, that's the kind of people we like on our show. We love that. That's why I have him. It's part okay. of the dimension. And then we have this 
person over here. We're not sure exactly why she's here, but she does a lot she's of writing writing over here. She's she's part of our, our sure assistant. Right? We have we have several assistants at Funny Bone Press, uh, which we just started. We got Funny Bone uh, Funny Bone Press uh, started up uh, in February uh, with our new book. Um, since Flatt, then, we've been uh, hiring Tommy hundreds Lieta. of people. And and I wanted to say that Tommy Lieta wrote this book, Forever Flap, and it is on Amazon.com. We got that. And it is on um, what's the Funny Bone Press. We got gmail.com. Uh, Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Amazon. Amazon.com. Cool. Very good. Very good. I tell you, now what is flap? Well, flap means uh, forever failing without a pause. Very good. I wrote this book about, oh, yeah. It sounds like a cult. Yeah. It is, uh, here, either way, we have notes here that I have to look at once in a while. Yeah, so uh, it, it, it means uh, forever failing without a pause. Uh, forever failing without a pause. Uh, I wrote this book because I found out that I, there were so many thousands of motivational books out there, mm -hmm. and there was not one about failing. So I decided Focus. that. Oh, this. Yes. So I decided that probably there was a niche for me, and so I wrote a book about failing, and that's what this is about. It's also it sort of motivates you once you read this book. You say, I don't want to read something like this again, and so it gets you going, and you get out there. And you Horatio. And Water. You get, you get a chance to fail, huh? Yeah. That's you good. Get that's a, that's a get a chance Agua, to fail. Agua, por favor. Go. Another spare, one of our assistants. Yeah. They spare no expense on this show. Yeah. Oh, what did you do to this? Did oh, you drink Horatio, some of this before you gave it to me? Horatio, you know better than that. I, I told you to stay away from the bathroom. <sighs> I saw that. So keep an eye, you know. Well, it rhymes with Fiji. I don't know either, but next time Fiji. There you go. And that's a demonstration of flap, folks. <laughs> <laughs> he just failed. Okay. So, this is a very interesting book. And it is really for laughs. But it has a, a message, I think, basically. Because, like you said, you're, it's the anti-motivational it's book. It's the anti-motivational book. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the anti-motivational book, and uh, a lot of people who have re uh, read it said that it is extremely funny, and they would probably recommend it to other people. Thank you. Yes, I would, definitely. This is, this is the book you want to recommend to a lot of people, especially the Suicide Prevention Hotline, okay? <laughs> you want them to read this, okay? It will be very motivational or anti-motivational. But... No, it, it, like I said, it really seems like uh, you've answered the call of duty. I certainly have. <laughs> because, you know, it seems like you can't turn on a channel any, any time nowadays or any sort of station without somebody having a motivational life coach on there. Yeah, you know, there are always life coaches. Uh, I think you've had one on, on your show. And they always have something to say about uh, everything, about, you know, motivating people to get out there and succeed. But I motivate people in getting out there and, and do a little bit of failing once in, once in a while. Because sooner or later, it's going to help you, what? <laughs> oh, sooner or later, it is definitely going to help you. Oh, yeah, and so, what did we meet? We met in prison. Oh, well, that's true, but we don't go into that, okay? Not so, anymore. Not anymore. Okay, send those cards and letters to Forever Flat. Horatio! Down! Down, Horatio! What are you doing? And this is a nonviolent show, folks. I think we just failed, which is not an illustration of FWAP. Okay, we want to make sure we have that. I think I better get Maggie up here. Maggie, we need somebody who doesn't fail. She's never failed me yet. This is a round of applause for my co hostess, Maggie Ramirez. Hi. Did you type that in? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> how are you, Tommy? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm trying to get comfortable here. Yeah, I'm I, good. I, okay. Yeah. Okay. How are you? Are you comfortable? I'm. I'm quite comfortable. Good. Most of the time. I are usually you? feel miserable, yeah, but but sometimes I do feel comfortable, and right mm. now I feel quite comfortable. Good. 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 Probably better than Horacio feels right now. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, poor Horacio. We feel bad for him. By the way, uh, that's how you say his name. It's Horacio. 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 Not Horatio. Whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's 
it's like how you pronounce my name, which is Aether. Aether. Not An exactly. There but we are go. destined to fail here. Okay, so we have the book. We have the, we have the Bible of failure. Okay, folks, we kid you not. So you want to you want to pick this up whenever you get a chance because I think it'll be uh, very enlightening. People would just really get a kick out of it. We have a lot of successful people in the studio, but there's a lot of failures out there, and we want to stop this. We want to stop failure. Mm. So you want to read this book, and please read it all. Do not fail to read it. <laughs> Flat. Otherwise, flap. it'd be a flap. It'd be a flap. Flap. It'd be another flap. <laughs> and he runs on batteries too. Horacio, where are you, Horacio? You've lost something here. <laughs> Please take him away, Horacio. Please. <laughs> I tell you. Sit. Uh oh. I tell you, folks. Let me tell you. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Keep that in mind, okay? So let me tell you, no, no, this is very, very um, exciting that you, we have uh, an actual, our first author to come on here to do this. Oh, I'm the first. Yes, you are. And probably the last, folks. So, <laughs> and I'm going to flap to you, too. Watch your little girl, she's flapping over there. Okay. Flap, flap. So, next thing, how long did it take you to write it? Mm. About, it took forever. Because I, you know, when I picked up uh, all those motivational books and I was looking at them, and I thought, my gosh, you know, I, I found my niche, I can write a, a book in fa about failure. Uh, I thought it was going to be an easy an easy sell for me to write it, and I thought it was going to take about a year. It took me about eight years to write. Are you serious? Serious. Eight years? Eight years. Because I had all these rewrites. You know, I'd fail at one, and then I'd fail at another, and I just kept failing until finally I came up with something. I thought, well, this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Eight years for a flap. A flap. For a flap. 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 About the author. He's a professor at East LA College in theater and speech. He's also a fight choreographer for theater and film. Tommy went to school in Iowa and currently lives in the Los Angeles area. Can we see that picture? It's, all, it's at your all your best post offices. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us back to why this guy is out here. Still thinks he's in prison. What are you, uh, what are you doing, <laughs> Adam? Well, no are you comfortable? Adam, are you he comfortable? seems very comfortable. I'd just like to take a moment to, again to uh, tell all of our fans out there that you can reach us at Plenty Bone Press, uh, Gmail, at Gmail. Uh, also, you can check me out, Adam Wavin, at uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, right now. I just started a Twitter account, never used it before, but I'm getting into it. So check us out. <laughs> Sounds good. Give this man a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people have the courage to make an announcement with no microphone. Yeah, God, bless and so <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> and another yeah. flap. Oh, no, bites the dust. <laughs> Flapped again. Tell me, That's how it. did you meet Adam over here? Uh, Adam and I teach at uh, uh, East LA College. Oh, being in prison, wow. We, after we got out of prison, we started teaching. We found out we ended up at the same college together. Okay. Now he wants the mic, see? Now, now see, hey. what, what did you do? The, the original name of the book was uh, Mein Kampf 2. That's M-I-N-D space C-O-U-G-H. Mein Kampf. Okay, just to let you guys know, we are a, no, no, we, we are a very you know, community-based show, so I just tell you kids out there, Say no to drugs, kids, okay? Because one day you may want to have a family, and this could be your son. <laughs> <laughs> so you do not want to flap out. <laughs> no, we're very proud to have you guys on. You guys are really wonderful, you and know. You and it's, yes. it's really good to have, like, uh, some creative juices on here for a change. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I, I would say any, anybody, everybody, pick up the book. Support there's, the local talent. There's nothing wrong with a little goofiness once in a while. <laughs> Right? We need that in our lives. And we certainly got it with us. Yes, yes, you do. A little chuckle here and there. It's always good. Well, it matches our out of control room, so we're, we're in good shape. <laughs> and I'll tell you. So, any parting shots? Anything Radio. you want to tell people? Come. Besides, before you... Uh, well, obviously, Come. obviously, we have a Come. parting shot at Horacio. 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 And my name is Aether. He's, he's scared now. He is. He's not yes. going to Come. Come. There we go. 
Now we can start singing Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> So I think our parting shot is I, I hope you uh, will enjoy my book when you, when you read it. Uh, I, I hope that uh, you realize that it's, it's on Amazon.com and it's on uh, um, Barnes & Noble. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Robert's on his game. <laughs> yeah, he is. Robert he he is never honest. Flops. He doesn't flop. He doesn't flop. Or flap. Or flap. Or flap. <laughs> One well, of those. We want to thank you for coming on and we want thank you again. to come on back in the near future to give us an update on how the sales are going. Okay. Yes. We yes. will. We can. Okay, folks, a little round of applause for this young man. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And, and for the assistant. And for doing the great assistant over here. here. Doing great typing. And, and for Adam, who's coming at you in 3D. <laughs> so please have your glasses on. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's take it away with some B-roll right now. Uh, just make a, uh, to preface this a little bit is that we have, uh, we have a fundraiser on the 23rd <laughs> at Nick's Taste of Texas. It is for a good friend of mine, a beloved friend, Mr. Aaron Balesteros, the drummer. I was. And he, um, unfortunately, succumbed to uh, his uh, illness, and uh, it ran up a lot of medical bills. So we're trying to raise money. It's going to be a who's who at Nick's Taste of Texas in Covina, and we want people to go on down there. It's the 23rd. You want to get there early. It's going to be a, a, a love fest. There'll be all these musicians from everybody from El Chicano, Midnighters, Tierra. Um, you're going to have everybody there. Anybody, who, whoever's who's who in the media circuit when it comes to music will be there. I got some friends coming from Northern California. Okay. I have a good friend, Denise Gomez. How are you doing, Denise? From Bakersfield. She's making the trip down. I'm sure our, our little friend Audrey will be coming on down as well. Uh, we got the cool cats themselves. My Tokayo Arthur will be coming on down with his lovely wife, and they're coming all the way from uh, Northern California. So we got a lot of people that are coming on down to support Aaron Balesteros, and who has currently been the drummer for Tierra. And we're very proud, pleased as punch, to be a part of that. And we're going to be there. We'll be filming some of it. We want you to be there too, as for a worthwhile cause. Okay, so that remember that date once again. It is June the 23rd. Two days after the job fair here in Almani, don't forget that. And you want to go down there and support them next day to Texas. Uh, I would say get there around 7 o'clock. You'll be safe because you want to make sure you get parking. And uh, go enjoy yourself. Make the donation. Uh, get the tickets. You can contact uh, Joanna Salas. And uh, hopefully we'll get that number out to you as soon as possible. But please help this man out. This guy is a wonderful guy. We're going to run a clip from a band that he had, uh, project that he had called APB. And one of the last Living Tower records back in the days. And we'll be back at you because we got another announcement, another fundraiser coming your way. And we want people to get out there. You got to help each other because the best thing you got to do is be good to each other. Okay? As they say, do unto others. So without any further ado, Diego in the out of control room, let's roll that footage of APB here on El Monte tonight.
Don't 